Okay, I'm here with the cast of Space Station 76. Welcome to Young Hollywood. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to be here. <laughs> you were talking about it before we started rolling. Yeah. You're all That's Young so Hollywood. Funny. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're totally comfortable with the Young Hollywood <laughs> term. We always say it's an attitude, not an age. We had Betty White in our studio, if that, okay. if oh, that tells you anything. Nice. If we could okay. follow Betty White yeah. in this segment. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, there it's like, and now Young Hollywood. Hey, great. We're so young and hip. We're going to talk about Twitter. How's that? Okay. <laughs> okay, so What's first that? of all, I'm going to go down the line. Okay. Mm. Trampoline Master, you said on your Twitter? Uh, Is that a yeah, fact? Yeah. Well, it's, it depends on the room. Okay. Okay. Yes. Trampoline Master? Yes. I have that See, well, in you're my... going to learn things about you. Can you do a back layout, full twist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can do the full twist. I, I, you know, it's it's really for my kids. And you, Marisa, you tweeted, let the games begin with a nice little shot of a cocktail here in Austin. Yes. Mm. We had a 640 flight yesterday morning. Nice. It was my first weekend away from my small children. <laughs> In like five years, so I began drinking at 6:40. <laughs> My friend was like, "You can't tweet that right now. It's 6:40." I was like, "I don't care. I'm doing it." <laughs> was it airport drinking? <laughs> yes. Air and Matt. Yeah. Zero tweets. A hundred and some odd thousand followers. He's got some followers because uh, I tweet things and I they retweet. They're excited that I've just been around him, and I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> Are you ever gonna tweet? That account was set up by the network that I work for with a, a, an airbrushed, color corrected picture of myself <laughs> as the avatar, which I. I wish I had that picture of me. I, I don't own it. Okay, so in this film, there's an asteroid, ironically, the size of Texas, because we are in Austin. Yeah. Yes. They're headed for the space for station. Us. Yes. If this were actually happening, if it was a Texas-sized asteroid heading for Texas right now, and you had an hour, what would you do? I would go straight to Stubbs Barbecue. Or, um, what's the other one by the airport? I'd go to one of the barbecue houses. Yeah. Here. And just chow down. Call. Just do it up. Get a beer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and has some barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> so what I love about this film is it's the 70s version of what people thought the future was going to look like. Right. And it's very, very different now that we're looking back than right. we thought the future was going to look like. For you right. guys in your life, when you were sort of younger, what did, did you have a thought about the future? Is it very different than you thought it was going to be? I thought we'd have hoverboards, like... Uh, oh, from Back to the Future 2. I know. Yes. yes. I thought and that... the shoes that tied themselves. Yeah. Flying cars, I'm thinking flying any cars. second now. I have a few friends who were like, I'll get married when there are flying cars. Did you all want to be actors? Did you all... Is it what you thought it was going to be? Um... Mine's nothing like that. Really? <laughs> no, I mean, it's fantastic. I'm not complaining, but... Yeah. What did you want? Oh, stop, and what did you stop. Not this want? isn't about me. I'm not good at answering the questions. I'm better at asking them. <laughs> you, go, you take it. You go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't really... I don't know. I wanted to talk like that. Uh, you just want to be like more three manly. Uh, I don't... <laughs> He I thought his voice know. would have dropped by now, but it I is not. And for the, for, for the two of you, our future? <laughs> well, I know that I madly in love with Matt Bomer from a distance eight years ago when we had the same producers on, on different pilots. So yes. I would have been very pleased that my future involved playing his wife Aww. in the movie. I told you that. Dream came true. I tried to get us set up Likewise. several times, but that was uh, not going well. <laughs> it was not going to happen for me. But now we're together. Uh, listen, right? I feel exactly the same. And um, <laughs> my dreams came true yep. uh, here on Young Hollywood. So <laughs> Right now. Right now. Dreams do happening. come true on Young Hollywood. OK, so one item you would actually have to take with you to space on, this, on the space station. Outside of a child? So, uh, your kids, obviously, you'd have with you. Well, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Some type of listening device, I guess. Kind of stereotypical saying this, but I, it would have to probably be an iPad. But we have Wi-Fi. You, you have Wi-Fi. You can read books. You can. You have to download a lot of stuff before like, you left. <laughs> yeah. I feel like our Wi-Fi would not be up to par. We would be very yeah. disappointed. And just before I let you go, did Matthew McConaughey give you any tips on where to go in Texas? All right. What did I do? Yeah. Um, <laughs> right on. Right on. Right on. No, I should have asked them. I didn't. As soon as the interview is over, we're gonna call. We're gonna give like, him a call. What's up? I feel like all right, all right, all right has become a catchphrase now. It's now. been a catchphrase. <laughs> For a long, long yeah, time. if you worked with him, you know that. Thank you all for your time. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.